okay so let's create a new job so you can just do that by clicking new item and you have to give the job name whatever you want to run so cypress automation is our job name and for now make it as a freestyle project and that's enough for configure cypress con job and click on ok so that will create a base cypress automation jenkins job so firstly you have to give the path of your project to this jenkins job you do not have knowledge where exactly your folder is located right so in real time project you might need to get that complete project code from git repository your project will be stored somewhere in your company git specific module you have to get that link and paste it here so where exactly your code is located so right now the code is in our local so we don't have git concept here okay you can still push your code to the git and pass that link and if you want to get this project from your local machine select advanced and use custom workspace and here you need to pass the project path where exactly it's lying in your system so save your project and can we get the path here actually the path is in terminal itself if you scroll down this is the path right where exactly your project is located and give that path nice so now our job have a knowledge on where path is present and next i told you that we need to parameterize this build with multiple scripts so these are the different scripts we have you need to trigger one of them on demand okay so you cannot just hard code for jenkins job to run always npm run green card test sometimes you not you might need to run only this green card but sometimes you need to trigger whole framework and sometimes you want to see the results in dashboard so every time you were um option of using the script changes right so let's make our jenkins job dynamic so that if you just pass the script from parameterized options it should trigger that to make it happen firstly we have to make this jenkin build parameterized so select this checkbox this project is parameterized and add a parameter select choice parameter just follow me by end of this lecture you will understand why i am doing like this name script to run and these are the different options you have right test give all these options in your choices here head test chrome test record dashboard test green card test so these are the different choices you have okay so if you save this right now we did not give any command so you have provided a project path and you just configured scripts so when you click build with parameters it will give different options here if you select chrome test and click on build automatically jenkins should create new command called npm run chrome test and it should start execution now if you select green card test jenkins should build dynamically npm run green card test and it should execute so basically we were automating that commands as well all you need to do is to simply select which script you want to run and build it that's it test should execute you even should not give the command as well so now let us see how to dynamically generate the command we are half done in creating this jenkins job go back to configure configure is the link where you can configure this job so if you come down add build step so here select execute shell command because npm will work better with shell window so select execute shell 
and now give the command npm run here is where you will provide the script but this script is coming from your parameter called script so basically when you select chrome test in your option drop down option in the script value chrome test will fall so that script variable now we should write it here so that jenkin will understand and dynamically builds on run time for you so if you want to place that variable here firstly use double quotes and put dollar and write that script that's it so when you run this build with an option selected here and jenkin will bring that value and replaces here and your test will trigger so this is the concept that's why we say this build as parameterized build okay now save the project and that's it now you can trigger any of your script see how centralized your framework is earlier we used to write commands run the test cases from cypress test runner we we need to do all this when you build test cases for first time but later when you want to run you need to have a centralized framework like this with proper continuous integration tool connection called jenkins and you have to have scripts like this and you need to understand first what are different flags available for cypress command run headed record key spec you need to have knowledge on this so that you can manipulate your execution strategies okay so if i just select run in dashboard here automatically jenkin will run this test cases in dashboard mode and give all this information to our cypress dashboard portal and our records will be tracked there see that how integrated your entire framework is now record dashboard test basically your goal is to record each and every test and report it in dashboard build that's it you can read the logs by actually going to this specific build console output look at here it started triggering that command cypress run record this is the key and also generate reports so when the record is started you can go back to your test runner and go to runs look at here one execution started a few seconds ago if you want to see the reporting click on this so that it will navigate to your dashboard and your records results will be tracked here so this is the magic if you run your test cases here by just selecting this option of record dashboard and click on build your results are tracking in the official dashboard page so this is how you need to build framework okay and this will be the centralized one and you can see the reports here if you are not willing to see the reports in dashboard you also have alternate way because we were also executing mock awesome reporting where it will automatically generate in your folder like this mock awesome report and there is a html file in this if you don't want to go with dashboard and pay for it so dashboard is free for three users so obviously when you want to run in in your company then you need to go for a licensing thing which cost a very less bucks if you want to go to that you can go if not you can just rely on this html but if you want to build a non flaky test cases and if you want to monitor how your test case has gone i recommend you to check out this okay so this will help you to debug your test see how the recording went and if anything is failed you will have proper screenshots as well okay so that's it guys we have successfully accomplished our task in building a framework basically again there's nothing like framework building we have included all best practices what cypress have provided and we created one end to end test called test8framework.js and used all those framework concepts here at the same time we have used all the remaining test cases to understand cypress concepts so from scratch we have learnt all the cypress concepts and we have implemented um, best practices in the test8framework.js 
So that's the wrap for this framework discussion.